one of the big services that we've been providing is food at four different locations across the district. So we started our food service program yesterday at the four campuses, Baghdad Elementary, Reed Elementary, River Place Elementary, and Running Brushy Middle School. Uh, over the last two days, we have served 3,508 meals. Uh, and so we are doing our very best to take care of our students in, in this time of need. One more group that's working in on site that I want to highlight is our custodial crew. And we have Federico Crozalo, who is our director of custodians. So I want to give him um, the floor real quick to talk about some of the work that they're doing. Federico, can you tell people, the folks at home, um, give a little shout out to your people and let them know uh, what, how, what the job is at hand for the custodial staff. Well, we have about 100 custodians who've been working hard actually since the beginning of the flu season in October, uh, disinfecting schools, all the high touch point areas. We are in contact with the district nurse, so we have first hand information on the schools that are critical, and we go ahead and, and prioritize those as well. Uh, during spring break, we have been able to work hard in disinfecting all the schools, classrooms, common areas, to make sure that when we're ready to receive students back, we are in the optimum condition to do that. Dr. Benz, can you share out, who introduce some of your team members again, and um, have you, the teaching and learning team of Leander ISD, talk about the work that y'all are doing and the work that our teachers are doing um, this week and next week? Let's talk about what's been going on. Um, all, so last week, I mean, our people didn't get a break. Uh, these people that you're looking at, sorry, I don't want to embarrass you, but we've been working since since last Saturday and Sunday, basically. And we've brought in people from all of our teams virtually and have been planning all week to get ready uh, for our teachers who came back on Monday and our, our principals have been helping out. And really, our, our teachers have been planning all week. They've been uh, excited to to hook up with their or make connections with their families and their students. Uh, that happened today. I you know, heard lots of different messages um, through the grapevine about people say, oh, I got, a, I got my email from my teacher or this teacher, that teacher. And the teachers have just been running with it and really just sticking to you know, the Leander way and our core values. We're, we're starting with the relational piece. That's what the individual connections are for. And our teachers who, who know our students are, we've empowered them to really build uh, you know, the best learning opportunities possible for customized for their students uh, based on their knowledge, their expertise, and how well they know their students. One of my favorite things that I got to see today was um, teachers logging in, talking to other teachers from other campuses, just um, collaborating about what support it's gonna look like um, through this little time. So I'm, I'm super excited. I'm very proud of our teachers and our support staff. and. I'm excited to see what we're going to learn kind of moving through all of this together. Will the school year need to be extended as a result of this closure? Yes, thank you. So as of this time, um, TEA is indicating that we will, um, all of these missed days that we're having are, are going to be bound by waiver. And so it doesn't look like at this point in time that we'll have to extend the school year. Uh, we are not, of course, saying anything totally definitive on that because things could change just depending on what happens in the next several weeks. Um, but at this time, it doesn't look like we will have to extend the school year. What does it mean for seniors this year um, regarding to graduation and meeting the graduation requirements and also having a ceremony? And then questions in general for advancement. Um, I know TA has put some information out about this. Um, anything that you feel like you, we can sh uh, you want to share out, Bruce? So I'll have a bash at it, but then I'm going to ask Dr. Benz if he'll step in if I miss anything, if, I've, if I'm done saying anything correctly or if I leave something out. Um, we are, uh, of course, going to have, we do have one semester of uh, grades and GPA and everything in and calculated for our first semester. So we know that for sure. Um, we, very importantly, do not want to hurt any individual kid in this process, whatever we do. So we are going to make very careful considerations of whatever it is we decide to do um, in order to try not to hurt any individual kid in this process. Really, our, our main goal through the whole thing is to minimize the amount of any negative impact that this um, 
this closure has on student learning and especially when we're talking about our seniors and making sure that they are able to graduate and move on with their plans without any hiccups. So we're going to do everything in our power with that as our top pri as our as a priority. What is this going to look like for students with with special needs and the students enrolled in our special programs? Um, what is the what is the plan for making sure every student all, all means all? Well, so the first thing is we have to look at each one of their individual education plans and look at what can be addressed at, through a home or virtual uh, means and then what areas cannot. And we're being uh, very creative on what that would look like. We are looking at other districts who are ahead of us on some of this. We are getting guidance from the Texas Education Agency and our uh, national associations on how that would look. We're looking at how you deliver therapy through a virtual uh, arena. And I think we've got some really good plans. I think there will be some students that are gonna be really hard to address all of their needs. And we're hoping to partner with the families to figure out what can work during this different kind of instructional time. We are absolutely already working behind the scenes. Um, we are being creative, um, looking at ways that we can provide speech therapy or OT or um, just individualized lessons to, to continue the academics of our students. We know that that is um, at the top of some of our parents' minds and it is at the top of ours as well. Just one last note about any longer term planning. We are in a great position here in Leander ISD because some of the other districts have had to uh, do some, you know, came back from spring break a little bit earlier than us and or you know in other states they closed down before and we've been really studying what other districts have tried and we I, we think we'll be able to avoid some of their pitfalls and take some of the best pieces from what they've uh, learned along the way to create a really excellent product and our teachers are already really coming out with great innovative ideas on how they want to do things with their kids and in the end that's when what's going to make it the the best learning opportunity for our students. Thank you to everybody for your patience with us as we try these new ideas and these new technologies. Um, I, I want to reinforce the fact that our number one priority at this time is the health and the well-being of our entire community and of our students in particular. And so we're doing everything in our power to make sure that our students and our community, our families, stay safe and stay well. Um, that is critically important to us. Um, our second priority then is to try to provide as many and as robust uh, instructional opportunities as we can as we go forward uh, and as we determine the length of the suspension of classes that we'll have. Um, there will be lots of logistical challenge in this, challenges in this. Uh, this is new territory for all of us and we just urge you to continue to be patient with us, to support us as we go through and try to do the very best thing for each and every child in the Android ISD.